today on Rappler. Indonesia confirms nine death row convicts will be executed, including Filipino Mary Jane Veloso. Energy Secretary Jerry Copetilia considers running for senator or congressman in 2016. And Filipino boxing champ Manny Pacquiao arrives in Las Vegas. Hello and welcome. I'm Ayi Makraig. This is Rappler's Rap for the Day, a list of the most important events around the world you shouldn't miss. Indonesia confirms Filipino maid Mary Jane Veloso, along with eight other death row convicts, will be executed. Two from Australia, two from Nigeria, one from Brazil, Cordova, Ghana, and Indonesia. The announcement comes after Indonesian President Joko Widodo or Jokowi called for an emergency meeting, ignoring Philippine President Benigno Aquino's plea to make Veloso a state witness against the drug syndicate that reportedly duped her. Aquino says Veloso was not initially willing to testify, but says, quote, She is now very cooperative. We have the opportunity in our case to get the necessary evidence to successfully prosecute the illegal recruiters. On Veloso's alleged illegal recruiter, Maria Cristina Serio voluntarily surrenders to authorities. Serio faces illegal recruitment, human trafficking, and estafa charges, filed by the National Bureau of Investigation. Two others face the same charges in connection with Veloso's case. On Sunday, an online petition to grant Veloso clemency went viral, gathering over 13,000 signatures from 127 countries. The appeal holds the record for being the fastest-growing petition on global platform Change.org Philippines. Energy Secretary Jerry Petilia considers running for senator or congressman in 2016. Petilia only ranks 40th or lower since polling firm Pulse Asia started including his name in senatorial preferences surveys in September 2014. Only 12 candidates are elected to the Senate every election. He just shrugged off his low ratings, saying, quote, The question that needs to be answered here is this. Is there something I can contribute? If you feel that you can contribute more than the other candidates, and I know that's enough for you to run, then that answers it all. Petilia will have to quit his post as Energy Secretary before filing his Certificate of Candidacy in mid-October. Petilia was later governor for nine years before being appointed Energy Chief in 2012. Petilia resigned in December 2013 after he failed to deliver on his promise to restore electricity by Christmas Eve in all the areas devastated by Super Typhoon Haiyan or Yolanda. But Aquino did not let him go, saying he was able to bring back power in most areas. He comes from a political family in Leite, where his brother succeeded him as governor. His mother is mayor of Palo, Leite. The Petilias belong to President Benigno Aquino's Liberal Party. At least 4,300 are confirmed dead two days after a magnitude 7.8 earthquake devastated Nepal, the worst disaster in more than 80 years. Officials warn the final toll could rise once rescuers reach villages outside the capital Kathmandu. Nepalis rush to stores and oil stations for essential supplies in fears of food and water shortages. 7,953 people are injured and more than 90 people have been killed in neighboring India and China. Experts say the massive quake moved Kathmandu by 3 meters or 10 feet southward, but the height of Mount Everest likely stayed the same. Everest stands at more than 8,800 meters or about 29,000 feet above sea level. It remains unclear whether the shifts are large enough to adjust high-precision world maps. Las Vegas may be Floyd Mayweather Jr.'s turf, but Filipino boxer Manny Pacquiao receives a hero's welcome upon his arrival Monday night or Tuesday morning in Manila. Pacquiao was accompanied by wife Jinky, his children, manager Michael Kahn's, and former Ilocosur Governor Chavit Singson. But the Mayweather camp is unfazed. 
father and trainer Floyd Sr. says his son completed the toughest training camp he has ever undergone and Pacquiao should brace himself. If he can get out of this one alive, he's Superman. Mayweather's uncle Jeff says it is stupid to say that Floyd Jr. will have trouble with the southpaws like Pacquiao. Floyd can make adjustments. Yeah, Manny can. Manny fights one way, and that's all he's going to do. Celebrated scientist Stephen Hawking gives one reason to follow theoretical physics, and it has to do with ex One Direction band member Zayn Malik. In a hologram appearance from the United Kingdom to Sydney Saturday, Hawking was asked about the cosmological effect of Malik leaving One Direction. He advises study theoretical physics because there may be proof of multiple universes someday. Hawking added, in another universe, Zane is still in one direction, and the heartbroken girl should comfort herself with the thought that in another possible universe, she and Zane are happily married. For those on desktop, click on the links on your screen. You can also click on the tabs below to go to a story in the video. And for those on smartphones and tablets, the links can be found below the video. Rappler has a patented user engagement model that puts a mood meter on every story. Looking at the mood navigator in the middle of the front page, the story that's gotten the most votes today is the story of Mary Jane Veloso in her own words. It has 70% of readers feeling sad, 14% angry. And contributing with other stories on Mary Jane, it made most people today sad. That's the wrap for today, Tuesday, April 28, 2015. Visit Rappler.com for the latest news here and around the world. Check out our other shows, SciTech for You and Rappler Talk. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to our YouTube channel. I'm Ayi Makaraig as we say at Rappler, tomorrow begins today.